What's up, guys? And thank you so much for tuning in to another video of, as always, Aaliyah, where we always <laughs> keep it real. Now, in this video, I am so happy to be sharing it with you guys because I have something super special in store for you. Instead of doing a natural hair care review or tutorial, I'm actually going to go into the ingredients in this video. I found this really cool app, and it actually can scan products and tell you step-by-step -step or ingredient-by-ingredient what exactly is in your products what are you using and we can get down to the nitty-gritty so without further ado let's go ahead and hop on into it we'll be scanning some products live on screen today so you guys can see what products are good for you and what products you might want to stay away from <laughs> Okay guys, so we do have some natural hair products here with us today. Some of my favorites are the main choice, the 3-in-1 conditioner. This is love. This was one of the first products I probably used from the main choice and I absolutely loved it. And it's also paired with its uh, styling gel right here. I have so many products that we're going to be scanning today. My favorite edge control is the Got To Be Glue. It just lays my edges so flawlessly. So we'll see if this product is actually good or maybe I should stay away from it. We do have My L here as well. We'll be scanning some of My L products. We also have Kinky Curly Not Today, which is a favorite in the natural hair world. So is this product really good? Can we scan it? Can we read it? And can we use it most importantly? So the app that we're using today, it's called Think dirty you can download this either in Google Play or your app store there is also a website that will be going on later in the video so you can see it behind the scenes of how the app was created and who's the creator of the app but there has to be a whole team working on this app because they have millions of products on the app that will scan and will tell you if these products are good for you or not so let's go ahead and hop onto the website so you can actually see what I'm talking about let's go so this is the think dirty website again you can get this app for free in your app store or Google Play but here is the website just in case you want to look at it you can shop on their website there's also verified brands they have a beauty box that they just rolled out and there's also partnerships as well so if you scroll down you can actually see that this is pretty much how the app works you take the barcode and you scan the product you can learn all about the ingredients and then you can also shop for cleaner options so if you click on their about us page there is a message from the founder her name is Lily she pretty much started this app I believe she said in 2013 yeah so the app launched in the summer of 2013 and only had about a little bit under 70,000 products on the app now there's 1.6 million products on the app that you can scan but she started this app because uh, there was a history of cancer in her family and she just wanted to take a deeper dive what consumers were normally using on an everyday basis she wanted to know what was the actual ingredients behind the label pretty much so even though a label would say all natural or organic there's a little bit of transparency um, in the label so just a little bit of information about Lily I think this is amazing that she launched an app like this I have not found anything else like this if you guys know that there's something similar out there where you can download an app and pretty much scan the ingredients please let me know because we are a natural hair community and we're always looking for ways to protect our hair to grow our hair and to love our hair so this app is a way for us to protect our hair all right guys so let's go ahead and just hop into all the products I've already pre-recorded my screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about what I screen recorded and what products we're diving into today so let's go ahead and hop on into it now you can download the think dirty app from the app store or google play whichever you desire as you can see once you first open the app this is the first page that you're greeted with and if you continue to scroll over to your history it'll show you all the products that you recently scanned also a list that you can make in the app and I do have my profile here as well, which is not really fully set up. Now going back to the home page, there is a couple things that you can look at in the app, but we're just going to go ahead and stay focused on why we came here. So the first product that I do have here is my got to be glue. This is my favorite glue. We're going to go ahead and scan that barcode. 
and you can see that this product is actually marked as dirty it is a number eight on the scale and I'll go in and explain why right now if you go ahead and click on that number eight in the corner and scroll down it'll give you a breakdown of what number the rating is and why it's rating at that this got to be glue is rated as, as a number eight so it is pretty high on the think dirty app if we do go back into it, you will see that the only reason that they are rating it as a number eight is because there is a perfume fragrance in there. And if you click on that perfume fragrance, you can read everything that is listed about this fragrance and why they are marking it as bad. This is really important information, guys. So make sure you're clicking on the bad stuff and reading why it's bad. There are also a couple other bad ingredients in here that are yellow and green well yellow labeled I should say the green is okay the yellow is to look out for and the red is maybe you should not be using this product so if you can get past the fact that there is a fragrance in here which is causing this product to be bad then I would say go ahead and use it but I would just be careful because there's a full list of ingredients in here and they're going to explain to you why you should or should not use the product all right, let's go ahead to our next one. Who has used this Indian healing clay before? Four. comment below if you have used this this is really good for your hair and also your skin as well guys I was super shocked that this is a number two meaning that there's only one ingredient in here which is just the bentonite clay and this is a super clean ingredient so if you are looking to cleanse your hair and to help your hair have a deep hair mask go ahead and use this clay I might do a full video on this but it is a good product to be using according to the Think Dirty app. All right, next on the line, we do have the gel from the main choice. We're going to go ahead and scan that barcode, and it's coming up as a number eight as well. Again, it looks like there's a fragrance in this, but guys, look at how many products are marked as clean. If you can get past that there is a fragrance in here that's making it dirty, I would say go ahead and use this product. It does look like there's a vitamin D that they're marking as look out for, or half and half, as the app likes to call it. So you can go ahead and click on that vitamin D and they will explain the usage and the health impacts and the explanation all in the app so please go ahead and take full advantage of this you guys can go ahead and utilize this to your liking but it does break down the exact reason on why you shouldn't be using this because there's a vitamin D in here that probably has been chemically manipulated and put into our natural hair ingredient we would have never known that this product was actually bad for you if it was not for the think dirty app Woo! That was a lot of products, guys. Comment below and let me know what are your thoughts so far. Are you shocked at the results that you're seeing? I know that I am. I'm surprised at how much in-depth information this app truly gives us. And this is incredible for the natural hair community. I mean, have you ever really wondered what's in your natural hair products? Or maybe your hair is falling out or not reacting to a product well. And you're probably thinking, why is this happening to me? This app is going to explain why because it really really breaks down the true ingredients behind all the products that we have right now. All right, let's go ahead and hop into our next product on the list, which is the Shea Moisture Strengthening and Restore Treatment Mask. If we do scan the barcode, I am shook. This is a number three according to the app. Look at all these healthy natural hair products that are in this deep conditioner. Guys, if you have not already tried this mask, I do highly recommend it. A lot of people love the Shea Moisture Deep Conditioning Treatment. This is marked as a number three, so it is extremely beneficial to use. It looks like they're all clean ingredients according to the app. You also can go in and click on the ingredients still, if, even if it is in the green, and still see, hey, what is this? Is this affecting my hair in a positive way? So definitely go check out this app and buy this product if you're looking for a good deep conditioner. Moving right along back to the main choice, we're going to try this curl boosting sherbet right here. 
and it's coming up as a number four. So that means eh, it's a half and half. Go ahead and look out for it. And as you'll see throughout this video, it looks like vitamin D is a common use ingredient in the main choice hair products. We've already did some in the past and we are seeing that vitamin D is a ingredient that is used commonly throughout all of our collections. Let's head over to Carol's Daughter now. We're gonna go ahead and scan that. Look how fast it scans and unfortunately it is a number eight. Again, it's only a number eight because there is a fragrance in here. If there was no fragrance, this product would be marked as clean. So if you guys can get through the fragrance or if the fragrance may be affecting your hair if you're using this product because it's marked as the only bad ingredient in this product. And here is the famous Diva Curl product. Now we're going to go ahead and scan this and see if all the controversial talk is true. It looks like there is two half and half ingredients in here that we should look out for. And Diva Curl is also using a fragrance as well. So we can go ahead and click on those half and half ingredients and look at them to actually see what's in there again and learn the true impacts of why this product was on a rant about there was natural ingredients in here that was causing our hair to fall out. Um, again, Diva Curl has been under fire since the beginning of 2020. A lot of people have made comments on this natural hair line. So be on the lookout for that, but it is marked as a number eight according to the app. It looks like there are two half and half ingredients and a fragrance which is making it dirty. So be on the lookout for Diva Curl when you are using and selecting natural hair products to purchase. Yes. Guys, Diva Curl has me a little scared. If you guys have not already, I did a full video on Diva Curl. I wound up getting a Diva cut at one of their hair salons and it went horrible. I actually tagged the video right here so you guys can see it, but it was not a good experience. I do have the product still. I actually wind up spending over like $200 on their entire line of some products that I wanted to try for myself. It was a horrible spend, horrible time at the salon. So if you guys want to check out that video, I will tag it below. And it's also going to be up here so you can see it as well. But let's keep on moving. Okay, guys, back to the main choice. We do have that three-in-one conditioner. We're going to go ahead and scan that app. Again, guys, there is a common theme with the main choice that I'm now realizing that they use some type of chemically manipulated vitamin D. I am interested to learn more about why they're using this. I actually might reach out to the company to get a better understanding of why this product is coming back half and half. So let's just move right along to Myel again. This is a deep conditioner. It's one of my favorites. So let's see if the product stands up to the test. And it does. It's marked as a number three. We are looking hella healthy on this product. It does look like there are all ingredients are all ready to go. They're all natural. They're coming back all all green you can go ahead and use this protein treatment deep conditioner uh, you can also click on each of the green tabs to take a deeper dive into what products are or what ingredients are actually in here like we've been doing the whole time but I really like this product and I'm going to continue to lose use it and I'm so happy that I found out that this is a good product to be using on your hair all right guys next we have the famous kinky curly not today scan that barcode and unfortunately it came back a number eight it looks like there is a fragrance in here which is common in the natural hair world and there's one ingredient which is a half and half so we can go ahead and click on that to see what are the uses what are the health impacts what's the explanation on why they're marking this product as bad and we can take a deeper dive into the true ingredients this is a famous detangler that everyone loves to use myself included Okay, we'll head it back to Diva Curl. We're going to go ahead and try that super cream now and see if it also comes up as bad. And it does. It looks like there are three half and half ingredients in here and two marked as extremely bad and hazardous and you should not be using this product. You can actually go ahead and click on the individual tabs to see what's in here. Why are they marking it as bad? But again, I would try to stay away from Diva Curl. They are under fire since the beginning of 2020. 
I'm actually shocked that this product is coming up as bad. Um, there are three half and half ingredients and two do not use at all ingredients. So you can see the benefits of this app and why it's important to scan this even in the grocery store if you guys are, you know, um, hesitant about buying something because you just don't know how it's going to react on your hair. You can always go ahead and scan this right before you buy it to see is the Think Dirty app going to come back bad half and half or give it the green light and it's okay to use but you can go through each one of these tabs and truly see the meaning on all the ingredients behind the label and why this product was marked as bad all right back to that kinky curly knot today we're gonna go ahead and try the custard now if you scan the barcode it's coming up as only one half and half ingredient which is giving it a four you can just click right on that tab right there and see why is it coming back as half and half or just something to look out to again if you want to go ahead and use the product it's completely up to you but this is just a good gauge to have to see should I buy this product or should I not and most of these products are surprisingly coming back half and half or dirty even though they are marked as all organic organic or all natural hair products. Let's go ahead and move back to the My L Curl Cream. If you do scan that barcode right on the back tab there, it's coming up as an eight. There are three half and half ingredients, but don't be shocked guys. There are a ton of ingredients in here that do look like they're good. So again, it's up to you if you want to use this product or not, but just take a look at the half and half ingredients. It's something to be cautious about when you are purchasing these products. Um, the barcode should be available online if you guys are um, trying to scan them in. You can also manually type in the UPC code in the app. Uh, if you are purchasing online all products do come with UPC codes and barcodes which is great because that means it's compatible for the app I am loving this app so far are you shocked at the results yet comment below and let me know what you're thinking I am totally shocked at how much information this app is giving us and is giving us to the T. I mean, things that I didn't even know were in my hair products are in there, and it's kind of harming us and alarming, if you guys may think. All right, next we're going to go in with the Carol's Daughter. This is a leave-in spray right here scanning that barcode it's coming back a four it does look like there's a lot of green light ingredients in here but there are two ingredients that we should be aware of again if you go ahead and just click on those ingredients you can scroll right down and see all of the explanations and the health impacts and guys they also have sources just in case you are hesitant about where they're getting this information from again this is a legitimate company they are working extremely hard around the clock to get this information out out to you guys Lily did this with a passion in mind because she did have uh, cancer in her family history so trust and believe that all these products are good to go keeping it with the Carol's daughter this is the hair milk and guys let's scan the barcode I am shocked there are two ingredients that we should definitely stay away from three ingredients that are half and half and there are a heck of a lot of ingredients that look like they are good to go if it was up to me I probably wouldn't be using this styling milk that we have right here from Carol's daughter I have personally tried this in the past and my hair has not reacted well to the product uh, milk is good for the hair for extra moisture but it just seems like Carol daughter is not as organic as we want it to be all right let's go ahead to our very last product it is the shampoo from Carol's daughter you can go ahead and scan the code right there and we are saying that this is a dirty product as well it looks like there are three half and half ingredients that we should be aware of the app is going to give you a full explanation on why we should be aware of these products and how they can negatively affect our hair there does look like there is a fragrance in here as well so guys you can see the full benefits of why we should be using this app again it is free you can go right to your app store or google play and download this Again, don't be afraid to check out her website if you want more information as well. But this really gave us a really good insight on what products we should and should not be looking out for. Uh, comment below if you are a fan of this pro of this app. Now, another really cool thing that you can do is actually scan codes that are not in the app. Here I have the famous Melanin Hair Care Elongating Cream. And you can scan the code on the back and you can see that this brand was actually not yet found yet so the barcode does scan you're actually 
able to input all the information so they can put it up on their app guys you can help them out as well so not only are they working endlessly to get these products up on their website but you can also use this um, app to scan your own barcodes in, put the name in put the description in. you can take the photos of the app and pretty much submit this to them and they will put it on their website so now other people will now know if the melanin hair care is a good product to use or if it's a product that we should be staying away from Whew, we are done with the app and I am mind blown at what the results really were there were products that were bad for you that I did not know there were ingredients pretty much an entire brands that had carry the same bad ingredients like for instance uh, the main choice they came up negative a couple times of maybe you should stay away from these products because they consistently use vitamin D and the the app is telling us that hey the vitamin D that they used in their products is not for our hair so that's just something that you may want to think about but overall I was highly shocked with the results comment below and let me know if you'll be downloading this app I did get it for free in the store another thing that I like is that you're actually able to add on products that are not in the app already you guys saw how I did that live on screen so I thought that was pretty cool that I can add in melanin hair care melanin hair care is a natural black owned business by by Whitney White and she is a growing uh, business and I love her hair products so far she has two hair products launched and a couple other hair styling tools and things of that nature like scarves and stuff so I definitely recommend that you go check her out but that's awesome that I'm able to add in melanin hair cares products into the app so we can see hey are these products working or not if you don't already follow me on my Instagram that's where I like to do daily updates by the minute of me so please follow me on my Instagram if you want to see daily right then and there actual high quality updates I don't know why I said high quality but if you want to see live updates of me and what I'm doing in the moment please follow me on my Instagram it is as always Liam and we are popping over there guys I really hope that you enjoyed this video it was something a little bit different we didn't do a tutorial or a demo or a review we really wanted to just focus on the products and get into the nitty-gritty I hope that you guys found something positive out of this I hope that you learned a little bit something and comment below and let me know if you'll be going in to download the app as well thank dirty is a really good app this is not sponsored in any way i just found this on the app store and thought that i would share it with you because it is hair related all right guys that's all we have for today in today's video if you have not already please like subscribe and share you can also leave a comment and say hello but my name is Aaliyah. we do natural hair care videos reviews and just talk about natural hair care health and growth and love my name is Aaliyah. this is as always Aaliyah, where we always <laughs> keep it real i'll get you in the next one deuces na 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 na